I'm going to be doing my McFarlane DC Multiverse Collection walkthrough. Uh, I updated the shelf recently. I expanded it uh, quite a bit so I could have my McFarlane figures a little bit more spread out. So I'm going to go and do a close look at everything. I do have some movie stuff too, but I'm going to start off with the comic stuff and then, um, you know, go on from there. But uh, let's see. We'll start off with uh, the bottom here, I guess. So here, got Justice League Dark. We need Zantana here for sure to get that more uh, complete. Crime Syndicate here. I have my Flash Page Punchers as a stand-in for Johnny Quick, waiting for him to put in that member and maybe, uh, what is it, Deathstorm? I think that's the character's name. The Firestorm uh, version. Hopefully we'll see that one too. Fire Missing Ice. So, got some other great figures. I used Captain Boomerang's jacket for Animal Man here. Uh, he definitely needed to have one, so that was disappointing. So hopefully we'll see one down the line maybe. Then got Gorilla Garad, who really needs an update here. Uh, this first shelf is kind of just more so of a mixture of DC characters spread across. So definitely got some classic ones here. Firestorm, one of the best figures, I think, uh, we've gotten uh, last year. I think it was last year, right? So I didn't I didn't do a top 2023 figure. So uh, maybe I'll do one for 2024. Beautiful Green Lantern Hal Jordan here. Love the classic look and the Flash. Both amazing figures. Um then you see here we got Superman, Batman, then we got the monitors in the back. Crypto. And of course the Wonder Woman that everyone was killing for and still is. And then we got some other characters. I mean, I love that McFarlane has done so much good range so far. I'm definitely wanting to see some other characters for sure though. So look at that plastic man. Great, great, awesome figures. Um, there's just so many he has to do. So a lot of space here has to get filled out, but we got some great ones. I know Blue Beetle here, I just kind of just threw him here. But, uh, you know, <laughs> he's got to get a comic one too. Then, of course, the, uh, the probably the most expensive McFarlane figure. The Nightfall Catwoman. And then we got to go over here. Some other Nightfall stuff. Some other Platinums here. And then we'll move up. That was kind of more so. This is just more so just random DC Universe characters. Main heroes and things like that. And then we got to jump up here. So now we got the, uh, the Batman villains here. So we got some great... Great sculpts that McFarlane has done. I'm definitely waiting to get a Scarecrow. I love the classic one. Kind of like the Super Friends. I love that version of Scarecrow. So I'm hoping we see him one day. Um, Killer Croc too. I, I'd hope we'd see a version of him. And so. Um, just for clarification. Those Fortnite figures. Those are my stand-in Royal Flush King. Um, they're not really. They are McFarlane. But they're not DC. Um. But yeah, you know, McFarlane has done a lot of Batmans, but he's done a lot of great Batman characters too. So then we got to go and expand from there and then get into Superman related characters. So we got some beautiful ones here. This dark side is amazing. I love it. I know people have like their complaints, but I think this is just a fantastic figure. Uh, it's beautiful. So hopefully we'll get a like a Super Friends Brainiac too. Definitely want to see that. And a Super Friends Lex Luthor. Definitely wanting to see uh, those guys. My Adam here, he couldn't really stand, so I used the Superboy stand. Just kind of like for him there, and it holds him very well. So I just kind of keep him like that. <sighs> oh, Metallo. Like, I really wish he did like a more version that we knew. And the the cyborg Superman Platinum, um, kind of more of a stand-in until we get the classic, really. And then we jump to Teen Titans here. So we got um, 
great, great members here. Um, hopefully we see a couple of other variations. Like I like to see a different version of Raven and Starfire. And then got Sportsmaster here. So, I mean, I don't know how y'all feel about these Platinums, but this shit just sucks. <laughs> but uh, um, hopefully they are just become more easier to get and looks like that is the case. So I also wanted to have like this little part here with Starro facing all these uh, Justice League characters. So kind of wanted to do something there with them going after Starro or Starro just taking over the Justice League. This piece fell. This was actually supposed to be attached to Flash. Uh, actually, it's supposed to be like trying to catch him or some shit, but like that, whatever. Um, then we got some other Flash related characters. So it kind of transitions to that. So we have some page punchers kind of mixed in here. Um, you got the Captain Boomerang White Lantern. And then it kind of is my transition to get to the Green Lantern related characters. These guys are awesome. Uh, definitely want to see an expansion to them. And that kind of leads up to here. I scored my four Manhunters. It took like two months to get that done, but... And I only bought one off eBay for a pretty good price. The rest I was able to get in store, so I was really happy about that. But uh, definitely loved to get those. I just hate they were platinum. That was terrible. Then we got some other platinums here. Uh, you know, actually for the Sergeant Rock, I wasn't going to get. But then I thought one day McFarlane's going to make a Toy Man. And I'm definitely going to want to have this displayed next to him as like a Superman toy going after him or some shit. Uh, definitely waiting for Toy Man to happen one day. So then we got some other variations of figures, Platinums, you know, the, or, you know, whatever the other versions that I didn't prefer as much. Uh, they went on top. We got McFarlane over here, just kind of overseeing everything. Let me jump down here. We got the Lex Plat. I actually took the bare feet from the McFarlane figure and threw it on this Lex Luthor, uh, Connor Kent, you know, Superboy. Uh, I think that just makes it look so much better. And then coming over here, we got a bunch of Superman variants and you know, Superboy related characters and things like that. And I uh, just, I really like the amount of, you know, figures we're getting. It's just, man, I wish there was just more unique characters, but we'll get there. Got some Kingdom Come. Hopefully we'll get more of those figures. I really like the Kingdom Come series. You know, Flashpoint here. Sorry. And then this becomes more of just so Batman related character variants. Batman's shit ton of those guys but we've seen so many batman related characters like just insane amounts so that is the main wall for uh the dc figures that's not all of them so we'll go and just kind of move on to the next thing um and then right off to the side here you got the bat wing then over here we have a bunch of different supermans that we've uh gotten over the last few years you can't have a bunch of Superman figures without a bunch of Batman figures. There is way more other Batmans released from McFarlane. I just don't want to go after all of them. I mean, I've had a lot of them before, but I've gotten rid of them. I just wanted to, wanted to collect the ones I liked. And then uh, I have a couple figures that are in box display just because I'm not sure if I really want them to keep them. But we got the Joker, the Superman Hush, uh, the Toy Man's not... McFarlane, but that's just me telling McFarlane to make a toy man. Okay, now we're gonna just go over the movie stuff. So I expanded this too. Before I had the movie stuff all clumped into one shelf without the vehicles. Now I kind of spread it out a little bit more for the time being. So I'll do a close up with uh, the bottom shelf first. So we got the Justice League Zack Snyder stuff here. Really some some great figures. Uh, I'm happy McFarlane is going back and releasing like some stuff. I know we're getting like Freddie Freeman for Shazam, but I'd love to see Suicide Squad movie figures getting made to finish up those teams because I think that movie was pretty good and some of those characters will stick around like Weasel and such. So hopefully we'll see uh, those things happen. Uh, got some of the other Flash-related characters. 
And then coming up, we'll go this way. We'll do it backwards. Uh, we got Batman. So this is the Batman. So kind of wanted to just mix those guys all together. And uh, then kind of transition over here to the Dark Knight. So then we have uh, some great, great figures here. I put the Dark Knight horse for Scarecrow because that's just where it belongs and it's just much better looking. And then here we got that beautiful tumbler. I can't wait for more of uh, Dark Knight figures, but we gotta get a suited Scarecrow. We definitely need that one. Maybe a Killian Murphy on Masthead and yeah. <laughs> and then we gotta go to the, uh, you know, the 90s, um, kind of also 80s here. Uh, but we got those classics. These are figures I never thought would see the light of day. I never thought I was going to get a Jim Carrey Riddler, or Tommy Lee Jones, Two-Face. Like, that stuff was totally, I thought, out of the realm of possibly getting. So it's really good that DC kind of took a break to do their reboot. Because McFarlane's been able to go back and just really do these other figures before Warner Bros. gets on them to make the new stuff. Obviously, we haven't gotten to Batman Returns or the first Batman movie yet. So, hopefully, we will see, like, the Penguin, Catwoman, Max Shrek. You know, I want that Christopher Walken figure. Uh, the Jack Nicholson Joker. Bob is number one. You know, we definitely need to get those kinds of figures here. And, of course, we got the Joker interrogation here. Uh, that's kind of just my little display here. So that is it with my uh, video here. I hope you guys did enjoy seeing my McFarland collection. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and the display. Uh, there's so many figures that McFarland has made. And I can't believe he's done this in like four or five years. So the fact that there's still so much more to get. Uh, I really can't wait to see what else he's come up with. I'm just really hoping to see a Toy Man, Classic Scarecrow, basically all the Super Friends. Like just in those uh, gimmicks. Like I really hope to see those. So I hope you guys did watch the, enjoy watching this video. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Put that thumbs up on this video. And uh, share this to any other friends of yours that love DC. So thank you guys again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.